Hello, my amazing kindergarten artists. This week, we're finishing up our mouse paint art project. Last week, I read the story Mouse Paint to some of you friends, either in the recorded lesson or on our live lesson, and we painted our background just the same way that the mice would. Today, we're going to be finishing up our project. Now, if you haven't painted your background yet, that's okay. I'm going to read the story one more time this week. So if you do need to, you can pause the video and paint along with me this week if you haven't done that yet. All the rest of my friends, the last thing we need to add to our project are our three mice. So let's go take a look at what we need to start. Let's go take a look at what we need to finish our art project today. So I have my painted art project here that I started last week. Again, if you haven't painted it yet, that's okay. You just need to go grab that paint bag that I provided you, my friends. And like I said, you can pause the video and paint right along with the story if you need to catch up. My other friends, though, if you have finished this part already, then I need you to open up your art folder and take out your three mice. You should have those three mice tucked away nice and safely that we need to finish our art project today. So I'll grab that out. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reread the story today, my friends, just as a reminder of what our three mice did. So, here we go again, artist. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They thought it was mouse paint, and they claimed, climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. Silly mice, right? <laughs> they dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like a lot of fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until... Look, he cried. Red feet and a blue puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet and a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until... Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle makes purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Oh, look at where they're washing, my friends, in the cat's water. Oh, naughty mice. and painted their paper instead. Now again, my friends, if you are one of those friends that maybe you haven't painted your paper yet, this is the point where you would jump in with your paints and your brush and you would start painting along with our mice and make sure you pause after each color, okay? They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue, just like our three primary colors, right? Then they mixed red and yellow to make orange, yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part, just like what we did, my friends. But they left some white because of the cat. That way they could still hide. All right, my friends, so the reason we reviewed our story is because we need to decide where our mice should go. Now, everyone's mice can be different. In different parts of the story, some of the mice were hiding on the white paper, some were jumping into the primary colors, and some were dancing to mix the secondary colors. So you can decide today where your mice go. The first thing, though, that we need to do, artists, is help cut our mice out. So go ahead, grab up your scissors, and we're going to cut them out. I'm going to speed up this step, this step just to save a little bit of time, okay? So if you need to pause the video here, please do. 
So I have my three mice cut out. Now before we start gluing them down, there's a couple things we might want to do. For example, in our story, our mice have kind of almost tannish colored ears. Now, not everybody has a tan marker or a tan crayon, so instead, if you would like to color your mice so they have pink ears, that is something you can do. You don't have to though, my friends. And you could also even give them a little pink nose as well if you'd like. Okay, so this is an option. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, okay? Now, while I'm coloring these in, I want to start thinking about where my mice can go. Again, they could be hiding on my white part of my paper. They could be jumping into my red, yellow, and blue primary colors. Or they could be dancing in my secondary colors to help mix them up. But I get to choose which of those three I want. I think today I'm going to have my mice jumping into my primary colors. So I'm going to put them right there on the primary colors, and now I'll get out my glue. Again, you can use glue stick or glue bottle, my friends, whichever you have at home and works best for you. I'm going to flip my mice over, and I only need a few dots of glue, not a lot. I only about put about four dots myself. And then I'll flip my mouse back over and put him or her in my first color. Again, make sure you hold and count to ten. Again, I'm going to speed this step up for my last two mice, just so we can get closer to the end, okay? So if you need to pause here, please do. I have one last thing to add to my mice, my friends. If you notice, I have a black marker over here. That way I can give my mice a nice long tail. The reason they didn't have a tail to begin with is because we needed to cut them out. And if you cut out a mouse, my friends, you might accidentally cut off the tail. So I'll go ahead and I'll add a little tail, or I can make a long tail. I could make a straight tail or a wiggly tail. Whatever kind of tail you want to add to your mice, my friends. Now, the reason we only use a little bit of glue is because if there is glue by the end, don't put your marker in it, my friends, because that will make your marker dry out. And there, my artwork is finished, my friends. So, your homework assignment this week, artists, in Seesaw, is to take a photo of your finished artwork and turn it in to Miss Greathead. That's all you have to do now that you have your three mice glued and have added their tails and any other little extra bits that you would like to add. So I will go ahead and say goodbye and as always, have fun creating my friends.